One of the interesting things about the work of the Commission after the Second World War is that we knew what we were going to be doing because of our work after the First World War. It was decided for the big campaigns that really good permanent sites for memorials would be chosen later on and many burials were going to be concentrated into those. And this is why we have a smaller number of cemeteries in somewhere like Italy compared to how many cemeteries were left behind in Belgium and France after the First World War. Salerno War Cemetery is an example of one of these. The site was chosen as a good place for a permanent war cemetery after the landings. Graves that had been made in other places, including on the battlefield, were brought to Salerno. And the grave of the Duke of Wellington is an example of one of these. The Duke died in the fighting and Pimple Hill, and he was buried near where he fell. And his body, his grave with his body, were brought here to Salerno War Cemetery several months later as part of the creation of the permanent cemetery as the campaign moved on.